Hey everybody, Malawet here. How's it going? And yay, it's not a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, because I think a lot of you guys are tired of that, so I want to bring you something different. This is the Medal of Honor beta. Now, this beta actually ended on the 360 yesterday, as of August 9th, and was over on the PS3 about a week before that. So if you're interested in playing it, sorry, you're out of luck. It's no longer around. But for the first part of this gameplay, I'm going to be talking about the Medal of Honor beta and just my overall opinions on it. And then for the second half, whatever time I have left, I'll be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops and the multiplayer trailer that just came out the other day. And I will post any sort of videos uh, that I can link you to that are on YouTube. I'll put them in annotations and I'll also put them in the description if you want to check them out. Because whatever information I talk about, I think uh, a lot of you guys would actually appreciate me <laughs> showing those kind of things. So anyway, moving on to the Medal of Honor beta gameplay and what I think of this game. Overall, this is like a bastard child of Mono Warfare 2 and Bad Company 2. And it seems pretty generic when you first pick it up, but then when you discover the more nuances of the game, it's actually pretty fun. Like, um, I wish I had more time with the beta. I, I do wish I, I played this game more. And, you know, that's my fault. That's fine. But so far from the beta, I don't know if I can justify purchasing the full game when it comes out in October because there's going to be a lot of new games at the time. I mean, I'm, Reach is going to be out. I'm definitely going to be playing that a lot. Uh, Dead Rising 2 is going to be out. Fallout 3, Fable 3, and then Black Ops in November. So, you know, this fall is going to be kind of pricey in terms of what games I want to buy. So I'll have to be kind of, uh, I wouldn't say picky, but I do want to have games that I'm going to be playing all the time. And I don't know if I will be playing this game all the time. So the game itself is very team-oriented. And that's definitely a, a thing for DICE, especially because it's more based off of Battlefield Bad Company 2. But the combination that I want to point out between this kind of gameplay and Modern Warfare 2 is that in Modern Warfare 2 you get kill streaks. Now in this game you get point streaks. As you can see, I just unlocked a Mortar Strike and an Intel. I can choose which one I want to use. I only get to pick one. So for the Intel, it's uh, sort of like a UAV in Modern Warfare 2, but instead of doing a whole map sweep, this only does your proximity, your perimeter, and your teammates. So that is a team-based point streak. Now the Mortar Strike is not. That is a streak that is individually for you and you alone. So it's kind of interesting to see that you get to choose between do I want to be a selfish bastard or do I want to help out the team. Now the nice thing is if you uh, die, you can just rack it up again and you can have both. So you can have your cake and eat it too. In this, I believe I use the mortar strike first and then when I get it again, I'll use the intel just to mix it up and keep it even for my team. Because if you've seen some of my videos before, I am a team player and I do enjoy winning my games and having a good time. So, since I did talk about the gameplay already, I think I'll move on to the weapons of Medal of Honor. Uh, it was kind of limited in the beta of what you could use. Uh, I think for the assault rifles, it was the AK-47 that I'm using right now and the M16. So, overall, they're pretty decent to use. And this is pretty funny. Check this out. I actually saw this guy with my binoculars, and for some reason, he just he's really slow and didn't shoot me. So I kind of backed off real quick and set the mortar strike, and then I killed him. So he had to be pretty embarrassed that he didn't kill me fast enough. But overall, um, just to point out the little gameplay thing again, is that there's a quick game. Like, I feel very fast when I play this. Uh, I, I guess that's sort of a combination between the speed of Mono Over 2 and the speed of Bad Company 2. It's somewhere in the middle between those. So if you're looking for a game that is really fast, I wouldn't choose this, but if you don't want a game that's really slow, you can pick this up and have fun. So moving on to the weapons again. Sorry, I got kind of sidetracked there. They are fully automatic, but I burst fire every gun that I pick up in this game because of the recoil, and I want it to be accurate. So they're pretty powerful. Uh, if you want to compare the SMGs to the assault rifles, I would call an SMG just a really underpowered, or not underpowered, uh, just a not as powerful assault rifle. Just a version, a smaller assault rifle, if you will. I didn't use uh, SMGs too much in the beta, just because everyone's using assault rifles and snipers. So speaking of snipers, when I did any sniping in the game, I actually thought they were kind of useless at times, unless you got a headshot. 
uh, body shot just was not going to do it. Uh, it was kind of disappointing at times to shoot a guy in the chest and then have him just get a hit marker. And yes, there are hit markers in this game. And just get a hit marker on the guy's chest and then have to hit him again real fast. So it was kind of annoying to snipe at times. But, you know, if you're definitely a great sniper at Bad Company 2, you're going to have a great time sniping in this game. Um, I think one of the gameplays that I have, or maybe I didn't even save it, I don't remember... I shot a guy in the body three times up close with a sniper, and he didn't die, and he turned around and killed me with his SMG. That sucked a lot. Now there are other weapons in this game, like a shotgun and LMGs, but I did not rank up enough to unlock these weapons, so, you know, I don't really have much experience with those. Now this is just bad awareness on the other team's part. I don't know what their deal was, but they had no clue where it was, and they just weren't playing as a team. Which can happen in a, a beta, considering, um, you know, no one really cares about the uh, the gameplay yet. They just want to experience the game for itself. So as you'll see, there's no lunge on the knife either, which is an excellent thing. Like I don't even care that I died. If I would have got the kill, I might have been a little pissed off, to be honest, because I don't like lunging with knifing. I think it's a mainly just a kind of like a tea bag almost, except with uh, a knife. <laughs> You embarrass the other person. So I think that's about it that I have uh, in terms of what I want to talk about for the Medal of Honor gameplay. Uh, overall, my overall impressions is just that it has a pretty high potential to be a good game, but I don't think it's going to get the reception that it wants. I do believe that the game will be overshadowed by games like Reach and Black Ops. So if you want something different because you hate Call of Duty and you hate Halo, uh, this might be a game for you. You might want to pick it up. So let me know what you guys think about Medal of Honor and this whole beta fiasco in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. I like your feedback. So moving on to Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, I will put a link in the description and an, and an annotation so you guys can check out the trailer if you haven't seen it yet. So from what I've seen, in the, I've seen in the trailer, there's a lot of different elements that Modern Warfare 2 did in the same uh, regard. Uh, and I think that the more elements that you add to a game, the more craptacular it can be. I mean, look at Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 and all the different elements that are in it. It kind of sucks sometimes because of the level of customization that you can have. It really uh, makes it kind of unbalanced. So I'm not really looking forward to Black Ops at this moment, uh, even after watching the trailer. Because there's so many different things that could go wrong, or potentially wrong, with the things that they added. So, now that I've talked about that, I'm going to talk about the things that they did add. Um, just kind of dissecting what I saw in the trailer. The camera spike. This is a... kind of a... a recon thing. It's a, it looks like a closed caption TV, kind of... not TV, a camera that you can place around the map wherever you want. Uh, I would kind of compare it to placing a sentry gun on the map, but instead of a gun, it's a camera. And the image actually is displayed over your minimap, so when you use this, you will not have a minimap anymore. Now, I can kind of see this thing being abused at times, in the sense that you could put it up somewhere really, really high, and then just kind of camp it up like a bitch, just, because you, just to be a douchebag. But I hope that's not the case. Like, there are many, many things that could go wrong with these... Uh, these new kill streaks that they added in Black Ops. Now the next one being an RC car that explodes. Now I don't I don't know too much information about the RC car yet. I just know that you can drive it around and then explode it. I'm not sure if it's a proximity explosion or if it's a remote detonation like you're actually pushing a button to detonate the RC car. But this seems like it could be kind of annoying. Like, think of a whole coordinated team that's using RC cars and just kind of waits, and then you see an, a rush of these RC cars coming up from some place on the map. It would be insane. Like, it would be hilarious, but then when it happens to you, like, ten times, you might get sick of it and get pretty pissed off. So I do enjoy the originality that's going on here in Black Ops, but at the same time, I'm very scared that the game will suck, and that would be really disappointing. So the next thing I want to talk about is Care Package. The Care Package is back. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, because it does seem kind of fucking lame that you can get 
a very small amount of kills and are rewarded with something that usually requires much more skill and talent in the game to uh, acquire normally. Um, I don't like the care package in Modern Warfare 2 because it rewards exactly what I just said. And hopefully they kind of tweak this a little bit in the sense that it will only reward smaller kill streaks and not the very large ones. Um, a comparison would be that you're rewarded with a care package with the AC-130 or a chopper gunner. And that's really kind of lame, I think. So the next bit is the crossbow. Now this is something that I think a lot of people are looking forward to. This crossbow looks awesome. And if you play Gears of War, you'll definitely uh, know how the crossbow handles and what it can be capable of. In Gears of War, it's uh, got a very slow aim time. But it seems that in Black Ops, it's going to be very quick. So the thing to look out for in this is that it has to stick into an enemy to explode. Now, what we haven't seen from the trailer is what happens when it sticks into a wall. Is it going to explode once it sticks into the wall and then is it able to kill someone? Because I think that's the kind of the big disadvantage to it that could be kind of annoying. Uh, because it could be aimed up just like a noob tube in Modern Warfare 2 and stick into the ground and kill a bunch of people. Now that'd be kind of annoying. Hopefully it's kind of balanced. The Wings of Redemption actually brings up a great point uh, to this effect in his video that he just posted uh, today, I think. So I'll give you guys a link to that. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. Uh, love to comment on your thoughts because I want to know what you guys think. And like the video. So thanks a lot, guys, and peace out.